first week. So everyone is changing with the, you know, the times with the devices and everything. So the reason why I said that is because I think that a person that is um, a public figure uh, and that has uh, made a stepping stone or have, have became in the public eye because of the, how they're, because of the way they look, I think it's when they reach a certain plateau, I think that people around them should really try to tap into that hidden talent that they have. Because it's kind of like time to reinvent yourself. Yeah. Or to in or, or to, to add. You, you want to add to your dimension. Mm -hmm. Make it three dimensional. Because mm -hmm. uh um let's say uh, a, a supermodel. Mm -hmm. People really only identify with them for the way they look. Yeah. And the, the ads and the billboards and stuff like that. They never really have even heard them speak. Okay? That's true. Some of them eventually are asked to speak in the way of a movie role or uh, they find out that they can sing. So, I'm looking at you sitting there all peaceful and calm. <laughs> with all that talent just within you that just needs to be tapped into and to be brought out so that the world can see it and hear it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, because you, um, you're a little angel. Thank you. <laughs> you are. I mean, you just. And we all. I believe that there, there's angels all around us. Mm -hmm. But in order to see an angel, you have to be spiritually awakened to feel their presence. And that is why you're sitting here. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> just saying. That is why you're sitting Thank here. You. And um, so, you. Every. I think you have a gift. And I think that um, you don't realize the big responsibility that's going to be placed upon you to help other people. I okay. love that. Okay, so um, at the end of the day, most people don't know what that gnawing, nagging feeling is deep down in their gut, okay? And that, my experience has been that that was that. Um, burning desire to be the best angel that I can be toward to any other person. Mm -hmm. Not burning desire for how much money I'm going to make and you know how famous, blah, blah, blah. No, it's that. What do I have burning down with inside of me? Yeah. That. How can I? How can I help? Yeah. I feel like that all the time. Mm -hmm. How can I give back? What can I do? What can I do to make a difference? Cool. Yeah. So, um, who are some of your um, role models? Um, well, my father. That's a good answer. He passed away in 2012, but he was my role model, mentor, best friend. Yeah. What were some of the um, some of the most pop some of the more powerful uh, influences that he had on? I mean, how do you think his... That I can remember, when he always told me not to demand so much of people, you know, because people want to give what they have, you know, that I put too much, sometimes I put too much, uh, expect too much of others, and that uh, if I was put, how would I feel if I was put in a microscope? So he used to say that all the time, and... Um, right now, you know, like I said about maturity, you know, as you grow older, um, you start remembering what your folks, you know, the yeah. people with the role models told you, and you're like, oh my God, that's what it means? Yes. Yeah. And he always, because uh, I had um, uh, several, like, failed relationships, we all do, you know, but my dad is, and I'm like, why are you saying this? And he'd be like, your poor choices, you know, you don't know how to choose. You keep lo looking for love outside while you should be loving yourself. He used to say, you should love yourself first, second, third, fourth, then the others. And I'll be like, 
It's, it's crazy. Why are you saying that? I'm wanting the others. But how about loving you more? He's like, no, you gotta love yourself more than anything. You know, love yourself. And then it took me so many years to understand that. You know, a lot of people, for instance, a lot of people will be like, oh, I can never go to the movies alone. Oh, I broke up with my boyfriend. I can't be alone. I can't be a minute alone with myself. And till you are comfortable with yourself, till you're singing karaoke by yourself for two hours, entertaining yourself, nobody else is doing it. You're doing it for you. You watch a movie. Today I'm going to watch a movie by myself, eat some popcorn. And oh man, I had a great time. I went to dinner by myself. I had a great time. Because you gotta, of course, important to interact with people, but you gotta love yourself and be comfortable in your own skin. Until you do that, you're not ready to love anybody else or to be loved, not to receive, you know. Yes. So, yeah. It